Right, it's approaching three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Last minute decision to go out with my camera. We're going to head to Salby Bridge, that direction, to continue with the project of Cordadale. But first of all, that ping tells me I need some diesel. Not really got a clue where I am. Well, I do, I'm in Salby Bridge. But I mean, never been here before. I don't really know what to expect. I've just parked up. The reason I've parked up in this car parked is, is because this is what I'm looking at now. This is rather special. Look at that. Look at that. As I said, I don't know what to expect in this place. Oh no, that it lies south of what, Halifax and it's in Cordadale Valley. And it's going to be part of my projects. Now the first shot I just show you there was obviously colour because the foliage lent to it being a colour photographer. It won't work quite well in black and white. Looking around, river there, assume it's the river colder. Do you know there's always something to spy that blue towel roof. I don't know what it is. I just love the play of old and New-ish, he says, new. See the flats below, uh, beyond. That's from 1970s, but in front, you've got quite a, a bit of dereliction there with the smashed windows. That's all nice stuff. Bridge over there. I'm going to play around with this, but let me get that blue part of the roof out of the shot. Light as well now. Oh, never work. No, no, not. Anyway, in terms of uh, setup today, I've got the cropped factor R10 out, so 1.6 crop. But attached to that is the adapter. Attached to that is a EF 50 millimeter lens. So. That'll take me near enough to 85 millimeter option. Maybe just short, but you know what I mean. So today's session is around a more medium telephoto option. And basically, and I've said this before, I've, I've chosen a lens and just gone out and see what I can shoot with that lens. There's a little quiet spot actually. I'm quite isolated from the rest of the traffic. Could get quite comfortable which might not be a bad idea but I want to explore a little bit um, I just want to say as well now that I'm shooting the more architectural type of stuff you've got to bear in mind your verticals and horizontals if you're at an angle at any point when shooting the image you're gonna get conversion lines and last time I posted on Urban when I had a session in Bradford I did get a comment and correctly uh, saw um, around the verticals and horizontals and if I'm honest I've been I didn't pay too much attention to that but I've been learnt a little bit more in Lightroom um, with the options available there I could have uh, corrected those. So, and that's what I've done. I've reposted the image on my Bra Bra uh, Project 3 Bradford. I've reposted them on my website. So if you go and take a look at those. Ah, the peace and tranquility of a canal side. I love canal sides. Away from the hustle and bustle. Busy place, but I tell you what, this nice church behind me. Hmm. Barges. Very much getting into Hebden Bridge territory here. Let's face it, it's not that far away. I am going to continue. Playing around with these options here. Maybe canal side. 
got a bit of a chimney in the background. It's a bit insignificant. And I've realised already, hmm, different altogether approach than 85, similar 85mm lens. There is a good option here, because remember, I'm shooting black and white. The fly just got me eye. Am I? Yeah, I am shooting black and white. So I'm looking at contrast. So you've got the birds here, the geese, swan there at the side. If I underexpose, you've got the sun beaming down on the top of the water, which in return obviously causes a reflection and a bit of a contrast that way. And the background, you've got the chimney. They're not swans, are they? The white geese. But look at that. Could be a nice subject here, yeah? Right, so you've got the building on the right hand side, which is creating a balance with the chimney on the left hand side, if you can still hear me. Do you mind? Don't care. And you've got the geese in the foreground. And you've got the leading line of the uh, canal bank. So just get the right pause on these geese. Come on, get some chicks approaching me. Come on, what are you doing? Do something marvellous. I'm not asking you to dance at all, you know, but... Mm, it's a nice little pose, that. Eh? Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit close, are you? It's a bit, a bit close. There we go. Barges. What I like about this is, look at the square windows. This comparison against this, sorry, circular windows against the square. It's nice to have a good contrast between them both. What a lovely way to spend the Sunday afternoon. I've talked about the weather, have I? Calm, not doing much at all. The sun is dipping in and out, mainly out. Right, finished with the canal options. I'm gonna head back into town, have a quick mosey around there. Not expecting much, but you never know. Um, yeah, 50 mil on a crop centered camera when you're working up close features, it's quite limited. So, no doubt, next time I come in, I'll bring a more wider option a lens. But all good stuff. Right, what is it now? The missus, hopefully, is cooking tea. I don't know why I said that. Because she's hinted she wants a takeaway. I better go. Right, till next time. Take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. And here's the uh, gallery. And I'll add the images to the Coradell project. Keep safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>